runs quickly to his mind. The only one who knows what goes through his mind is Hashem. That's why it's very interesting, because usually when a person makes a vow in his mind, it's not a vow. Only when he say it, because the Torah says clearly, Motsas Fatav, what came out of his lips, with one exception to the rule. If it's a vow for charity, you say, I'm giving this rabbi such and such money, and then in your mind, you never declare it. It just runs through your mind. And then you change your mind and you want to give half, you are actually binded to the first amount. That's only if you agreed first, if you're just debating how much to give, that's not a vow. But if you already made a decision, now, okay, I'm giving $1,000. And an hour later, the evil inclination began to pinch you. Hey, too much, wake up, what's going on with you? Don't be a fool. But you already got in your mind that you're giving this amount, you must give that amount. If you give less, you hold guilty as making a vow and not fulfilling it. Which has a serious consequences in the life of a person. But anything else, Anything else, you make in your mind, tomorrow I'm going to help my, my friend Isaac to move his furniture to the new apartment. I'm going to volunteer, I'll help him out. And then an hour later, you change your mind. If you promised him, say, Isaac, Isaac, I'm coming tomorrow at 2 o'clock, you can count on me, I'm coming to help you, that's a different story already. That's it, you bind it to what you promised. But as long as it just costs your mind, you don't want to go in the end, fine, you don't have to go. But if it's charity, you are already obligated to give. 